Bible says that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Give me Isaiah chapter 30. Give me Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. Because we are here to, to teach our people the Bible. But the Lord said we were going to come to a rebellious nation, a rebellious people. Read the book of Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children. What the Bible say? Woe to the rebellious children. Hey, big bro, what do woe mean? Right, watch it. Read it again. The brother got some smart. Read Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not from me. You hear what God says? The Bible said that our people take counsel from not of God, though. What counsel does our people finna be doing tomorrow? We finna be coming together to keep what, old school? Easter. Is Easter in the Bible? Can anybody come show me Easter in the Bible where our people uh, worship uh, a rabbit that lay eggs? Rabbits don't even lay eggs. So, what's, what's the deal? Give me that in uh, Titus chapter 1. That's a Jewish fable. That's make-believe stuff that the black pastors just keep pushing. The white man, they push it too. The whole world push Easter. But do we supposed to be celebrating Easter? Read this. The book of Titus chapter 1 and verse 14. Not giving heed to Jewish faith. What the Bible say? Not giving heed to Jewish faith. You see that? God says we're not supposed to give heed to Jewish fables. That's a Jewish fable. Our forefathers did not keep Easter. Christ kept what? The Passover. We're supposed to be keeping the Passover. Big bro, then when you was a kid, did you, did y'all, did y'all, uh, did y'all celebrate Easter? Where do Easter come from? Did our forefathers in the Bible celebrate Easter or did they celebrate the Passover? Which one do you think Christ killed? Because our people, we, we Christians, right? We supposed to do what Christ did, right? Watch this. John chapter 15, verse 10. Because did Christ keep the commandments of God? Watch this. Read. The book of John chapter 15, and verse 10. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. So Christ said, if we keep his commandments, we'll abide in his love. Read. Even as I have, what? Even as I have kept my father's commandments. You see that? Christ said, if y'all keep the commandments, just like the same way I kept the commandments. What commandment is our people breaking today? Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. The Bible said, which day is the Sabbath day? The seventh day or the first day of the week? As you say you're a pastor, right? Come deal with us. Watch this. I'm going to show you a basic scripture that our pastors are not teaching the people today. Give me that in Exodus 20, read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. God says, remember the Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day. The what? But the seventh day. No, the first day. The seventh day. What's the seventh day of the week, pastor? The seventh day of the week is Saturday. You can pull out any phone. It could be a, a smartphone, an iPhone, a calendar. Any dummy know that the first day of the week is Sunday and the seventh day of the week is Saturday. So where do our people get Sunday worship from? Go to Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Bring it out. Because the real God of the Bible, the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ, they didn't celebrate, they didn't keep no Sabbath day on no Sunday. Read the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Through what? Philosophy and vain deceit. Hey, a vain deceit is to go to church on Sunday and think you're going to be saved. Right. Our people going to die in them churches. Because guess what? They pushing white Jesus in the church. This man does not exist. He's a figment of your imagination. Right. The Bible said that Jesus Christ is a black man with wooden hair. You see that? But we come out here to show our people the love. We come out here to show our people the knowledge. This is the knowledge that our, pay, our pastor's not showing the people. Give me that in Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Okay. Because this is the knowledge that our people are supposed to be getting right here. Read. The book of Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Listen to this, pastor. Read. For the priest's lips. For the what? The priest's lips. Hey, what is a priest? A priest is the same thing as like a pastor, a preacher. You understand? The Bible says that a priest's lips, read, 
should keep knowledge. So let's see what the knowledge is, Reed. And they should seek the law. The what? The law at his mouth. We're supposed to be going to the pastor to get the laws of God. That's, right. That's what the Bible says. Give me that in Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. This is what the pastor's supposed to be teaching our people, big bro. Watch this. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, and verse 15. Read. Yeah. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. You see what the Bible says? God says, I'm going to give you pastors according to my heart. Read. We shall feed you with knowledge. With what? With knowledge. The Bible said that we was going to feed, the pastors about to be feeding the people with knowledge. What? Not lies. What? Read. That shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And what? And understanding. You hear that? Read. And it shall come to pass when ye be multiplied. Now give me Psalm 111 verse 10. You, did you hear that, big bro? The Bible said we're supposed to be feeding our people with the laws of God. You understand? If you look around the community, you want to look like the laws of God getting taught. Yeah. Our people is crackheads. Our people drunks, run up and down the street. And guess what? And our people started running up in them churches on Sunday. Bring it up. Ain't nobody going to get saved running up in that church on Sunday. You're going to get saved when you keep the laws of God. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. Read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding. A what? A good understanding. Have all they that do his commandments. You hear that? The Bible says you get a good understanding when you do the laws of God. But our people hate God. Our people don't want to hear the word of God. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse 31. And they come unto thee as people come, and they sit before thee as my people. And they hear my, and they hear thy word. They what? They hear thy word. Read. But they will not do them. For this, for with their mouth they show much love. Hey, big bro, have y'all ever heard this scripture right here in the Bible? Hey, listen to this as y'all walking off. Read it again. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 31. And they come unto thee, uh, and they come unto thee as the people come, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy word. And they what? And they hear thy word. Our people, they love to hear the word of God. Wow. Read. But will not do them. But what? Will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love. Hey, our people love to show love with our mouth. We love to say we love God. We get on our knees and we pray to white Jesus every night. Hey, big bro, what color is Christ in the Bible? Is Jesus Christ a white man or a black man? What y'all think? What do the Bible say? Y'all Christians? That's a woman. Read. But their hearts go after their covetousness. Hey, bro, let me ask you something, bro. What color is Jesus Christ? The real Christ. What color you think he is, big bro? Hey, I'm going to show you what color is, right? Watch this. It's in the Bible. Watch this. I'm going to show you something real quick before you go in the store, bro. Watch. Jesus Christ looks just like you. Watch this. Read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Hey, young man on that bike. I want, today, I want you to find out what Jesus Christ really looked like. And he a black man with woolly hair. And he looked just like you. Watch this, Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. Start at verse 1, then 14. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Read it right. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So, we finna reveal what Jesus Christ looked like, young man. Watch this, read. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. The Bible said that Jesus Christ had woolly hair. What person on the planet got woolly hair? The so-called Negro. The so-called black man. Christ, the Bible says that the real Christ had woolly hair. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet, and his what? And his feet. So now he said his feet, his skin, read, and his feet like a fine brass, as if they burned in their fur. Hey, what color is brass, bro? I'm not the smartest person in the world, but if I take a penny out, it's like a brass color. Brass is a derivative of brown. The Bible said that Jesus Christ was like skin with like fine brass, as if it burned. If you burn something, what color do it turn? If I burn toast, what color do it turn? If you burn a house down, what color do it turn? It turned black. Yeah. So Jesus Christ wasn't even a light-skinned man. That's he right. was a dark-skinned man. Right. But our people hate the Bible. They love to worship white Jesus. Right. And when we say that, they say we're a hate group. Right. We're not no hate group. 
We just teach them what the Bible says. The Bible said that Jesus Christ is a black man with woolly hair. Old school. Did Christ keep the commandments of God? Did Jesus Christ himself keep the commandments? Because our people, they, we say we Christians, right? We supposed to follow in Christ's footsteps, right? Give me 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. I'm going to show you what Christ told us to do, big bro. Because we the one that love our people. We the one that come to the slum, to the ghetto, to come out and teach our people the word of God. Because the pastor's not going to do it. All he's going to tell you to do is keep coming to the church. Keep bringing me that 10%, boy. Keep paying me so I can drive in that 600 beans. It's because I can keep pushing that Cadillac. You understand that? Watch this, read. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2 and verse 21. No. For even here too were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow him. So, the Bible said that Christ left us an example. Let's see what the Bible say he did, read. That ye should follow his steps, who did no sin. Who what? Did no sin. The Bible said Christ did no sin. Read. Neither was gal found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, reviled not against. So what is sin, bro? Give me that, first John. Old school, what is sin? Because the Bible said that Christ did no sin. That's right. Guess what, bro? Give me that Colossians 3. Bring it out. Let me show you something real quick before you leave. Because guess what? You ain't the only person that ever been in sin. Listen to this, read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Give me the one when it said we ourselves were sometimes foolish. Now give me that Colossians 3 before we go. And then we're going to get Matthew 26. I'm going to deal with the brother right quick. Hey, bro. Hey, bro, before you leave, come look at the sign before you leave, though, big bro. Just come check it out and see what we got going on before you leave, bro, because we brothers. You understand that? We got to look out for our people, bro. Because look, if the so-called black man don't look out for the so-called black man, who going to look out for us? We got we to come out here and teach our people the love of God. We got to come out and teach our people that I should not kill. That I should not steal. Don't get high. Don't get drunk. You understand that? Get married. Right. We're tired of seeing our people walking around looking like zombies. Right. And we're supposed to accept this. That's what's wrong with the so-called black man. They weak. You understand that? Give me Psalm 94 and 16. Bring it out. Because we're going to stand up for this world of God. Bottom line. And we're trying to find out who else going to do it. Read. The book of Psalm chapter 94 and verse 16. Bring it out. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? Emphasize the word who. Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? You see that, big bro? The Bible said, who going to rise up for God against the evildoer? You see that old man right there in that wheelchair right there? He's supposed to be at home, bro. He shouldn't be out here like that. You see what I'm saying? What I'm saying, though, bro, we got to look out for each other. You understand that? But, when we, hey, but look, when we come out here to show our people love and to teach our people the word of God, bro, they look at us like we the enemy. Meanwhile, the so-called black man getting shot down in the streets. The so-called black man walking around here, drawed out. And our people don't give a damn. But that's all right, read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Hey, make sure, bro, bro, you get a fly, bro, big bro. That's all we trying to see who going to stand up for the laws of God. Because our people love to say they love God. But when it's time to keep the commandments, they ain't trying to hear. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.
¡Listo! 